What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Derek. And I'm Kevin. And together we're last week's album. We're bringing you the only reviews with two different views. And this week we're talking about Schmilko by Wilco. And we're asking the big question, is Wilco's alt-country revival Schmilko something to scoff at? Cheers, Kevin, and everyone at home. Cheers, Derek, and Schmerick, and everyone at home. Thanks, Schmevin. Wilco, as you all may know, is a little old alt-country band led by Jeff Tweedy. This is their 10th album, and it follows last year's Star Wars. Most of these tracks, I think all these tracks actually, were recorded during the Star Wars sessions, a kind of collection of acoustic songs. Let's talk about what it sounds like. Kevin, what'd you think? Sure, I think Schmilko sounds like Wilco turns down and tunes in to the nostalgia of growing up. Yeah, yeah, it definitely sounds like that. Schmilko sounds like Wilco somewhere between Yankee Hotel Foxtrot and A Ghost is Born. Yeah, yeah. Good of course, you might be able to say a lot of, their, a lot of Wilco sounds like that. Um, let's talk about some highlights. Kevin, what do you have? Sure. First and foremost, I think the strongest part of this album is the lyrics. Very reflective, and contemplative, and honest, but still with plenty of teeth to them. And I think happiness and we aren't the world, Safety Girl, are two great examples of the lyrics on this album. I was really intrigued by that kind of juxtaposition where he's telling something very specific to him, but in a very current, relatable way. Yeah, yeah. Definitely sounds like a record for now, but definitely with some flavors of nostalgia as well. Absolutely. Another highlight to me was, as I kind of alluded to earlier, this is an acoustic album, but it's not slow. And I thought that made it an exceptionally strong wrong acoustic album. They really infused a lot of experimentation into these songs, which I thought was really interesting as most of the songs are lightly or more minimally instrumented. A lot of acoustic guitar, some electric, some piano, light percussion, not in-your-face drums. And the way they were kind of able to meld all those things together and come up with very catchy songs, I thought was fantastic. I don't know if I would say that the whole album isn't a little sleepy, at least for me, but I do like how on some of these songs, even while they are low-key, they still find ways to sound fresh and inventive, to your point. I think, for me, common sense is probably the best example of that. While I don't find it the most enjoyable to listen to, I do think it is a very interesting take on how do you spice up a more acoustic track. They've got a lot of this sort of electric guitar noodling going on behind the scenes. It's That's... Um, Definitely interesting. I completely agree. Common Sense really stood out to me at first. In addition to the electric guitar noodling in the background, and it really kind of picks up the commotion. I think there was even some xylophone towards the end. It was a little too busy, I think. So those were some highlights. Now let's talk about some lowlights. Kevin, what'd you have? Well, Derek, I've got a few. Overall, I felt like this album feels too restrained. I'm all for going in new directions, but some of these just feel like they should open up more. It almost feels like some some tracks are unfinished in a way, like they meant to come back and flesh them out later. In particular, Common Sense feels like it could have gone somewhere even more interesting. Same with Quarters. And I know Wilco, I know they probably would never release anything they thought was unfinished, but that's just kind of the overall vibe I got. And I'm sure they did it intentionally to go low key and do you know an exercise in restraint. Also the fact that I'm dinging this album for not being more experimental, yet it sounding completely different for Wilco is not lost on me, but I still feel like it's appropriate to amp up the volume and the you know vocals or what have you and get a little loud. And I think certain tracks sort of demand that and to draw a line in the sand and say we're only gonna do acoustic songs just feels I don't know a little weird to me and so yeah no that's a good take I think yeah I, I think it is kind of a big challenge it definitely seems like you're working with two very contrasting concepts you, you know the experimentation on one side which really often might require those really big large sounds but that that's directly at the expense of trying to maintain this acoustic low-key sound that's in my hat to them for even trying something like this something so ambitious but at the same time when you listen to it it seems so effortless from them you know and that's just wilco this overall album is just walking a fine line between 
contrasting themes. I think for some that's definitely going to be a low light, but on the other hand, I think it's still a ride worth taking. We're going to talk about the overall rating and answering the big question, is Wilco's alt country revival Schmilko something to scoff at? Kevin, what do you think? Sure, I will start with the big question. You know, Wilco is an amazing band and I don't think you can scoff at anything they put out. They definitely put out quality work when you look at their entire catalog. This is their 10th album and they've been at this a long time and they have a really great body of work so i don't think you can scoff at it but personally i would skip it i think they have much better albums i love star wars that came out a year ago and i know that these were recorded at the same time and sort of intentionally pushed apart sonically and you know if you did try to mix them up more and put a few more softer tracks on that one and heavier ones on this one star wars itself probably wouldn't be as good as i think it is you know i get that but like i said i I think i prefer some other wilco albums in addition to star wars obviously yankee hotel foxtrot being there this one is just a little too subdued for me and i hate to say that i love wilco as a band but overall i'm gonna give this one a two out of five All right. Well, I'm going to start with a big question. Is Schmilko something to scoff at? I'm going to disagree and I'm going to say no. I think it's worth checking out. I was intrigued by the contrasting concepts of experimentation versus restrained acoustic sound. And so I really kind of enjoyed that challenge in itself. I can't disagree with you. This isn't my favorite Wilco album either. I don't know how many more I put ahead of it, but it might be on the second hand. And so that being said, I'm giving this one a three out of five. And with Kevin's two, that's combined five out of 10. So go check out Schmilco and let us know if you think it's something to scoff at or something to drop your jaw at. Well, thanks again for joining us here at last week's album. Don't forget to subscribe here on the YouTube or on the podcast. And as always, I'm Derek. And I'm Kevin. Cheers, everyone.